Hey guys, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing more XCOM 2. So the last mission went awesome. It was a two-parter actually, where we basically got shot down by a UFO and we had I to don't survive. Shen for wanting to keep an eye on Tigan, but at this point, we need all the help we can get. Okay, cool. But anyways, we had to survive, and somehow we managed to survive. I really, honestly, like, there was one part in the mission where I was super quiet, and I was trying to figure out what to do, and I literally was at the point where we are completely screwed. This entire series is over. We are all completely going to die. And somehow we pulled out a freaking win, and we didn't even lose anyone. All that happened is uh, John McClane got wounded for five days, um, and Jason Bourne, he was wounded before that. So very minor in the scheme of things. Uh, so in between episodes what we ended up doing is we named our two rookies uh, we named uh, the chick who actually leveled in the last one uh, on that uh, particular mission we were talking about named her Katniss Everdeen she's a sniper I think it works you know it's close I guess I needed another female I think and then we named our other guy John Wick and he looks really much like that's a pretty accurate I don't know you can get much more accurate than that so I'm pretty happy with him um, so we'll throw him out here eventually uh, but anyways I think we're good to go um, in the proving ground we have experimental ammo going we got eight days on that uh, what was cool about experimental ammo is we can do it, but it only costs a lyrium core. It didn't cost any supplies. We don't want to use supplies because we're one day away from magnetic weapons. So I didn't want to do either of these. Um, I don't really know what these are going to offer. All I've seen so far in the pre-release coverage is I saw there was a poison grenade. And the poison grenade does like one damage per turn or something. And it seems really kind of crappy, honestly. Um, but, so that's why we're going with ammo. I think that's going to have a better potential to actually having an effect and helping us. I know magnetic weapons should help us a lot, I would think. Uh, so, anyways, all that being said, we're going to go back here and Avenging we're going to get the rest of our port. supplies. And then from there, we're going to... I think make contact with New Mexico. So let's go ahead and finish this off. Yay, a protocol, command your gremlin to move to a friendly target. Sweet. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we probably want to get more rookies here. However, I don't think we're going to do that right now because we're trying to save our supplies. I don't know what magnetic weapons are going to cost. So we collected all the resources. Sweet. We're not going to fly back to HQ. Um, there's new scientists, engineers, and veteran soldiers are available, but we can't afford any of them right now. And I actually really like the idea that scanning there uh, heals us. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that how it is, and we're gonna go make contact down here with New Mexico. We could also go pick up the supplies, but I think this is more important because we keep forgetting to do this, and this gets us closer to South America, so we want to do this. Yeah, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. Yeah, 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 I know. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. We actually have that going right now because we're getting more power, so let's go ahead and start scanning. We'll find the results to be as intriguing as I do. Sweet. Uh, assign new research. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Nice. I'm imagining these are equivalent to the laser weapons in XCOM 1. So I am pretty stoked about that. So new item available, magnetic rifle, new item available, shard gun, mag pistol, new research, Gauss weapons. Having finally gotten a closer look at the Gauss rifle technology Abin has deployed among our forces, I'm fairly confident we can de develop a magnetic weapon system of comparable power. Obvious question, why not simply use the Abin weapons directly, was discovered early on by resistance forces in the field. Some years ago, the aliens began integrating a sort of genetic verification technology. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it also exerts lethal force on an unsuspecting, unauthorized user. Okay! So, as our own variation on the technology, Dr. Shen and I have taken components of the alien weaponry recovered from the field and utilized key elements to develop a sustainable prototype. Uh, we can safely begin reproducing. Okay, cool. Continue. So, we can get mag pistol, shard gun, that's a shotgun, awesome, and magnetic rifle. So, no heavies. That's, that's kind of interesting. No heavy and no snipes. Uh, okay, what do we want to do next? 13 days, 8 days, 5 days. Alien encryption, what does this do? Uh, advanced matrix, the thought of uncovering aliens most complex design. I wonder if this is going to let us get more than 3 people. By replicating uh, relays to further spread our reach, it's easier for us to reach some of those outline regions. Well, we can't get more yet, so... The Viper is only 4 day four days. I think we're going to go with that. Then I think we're going to do resistance. Then I think we're going to do alien encryption. So we could actually do plated armor too, but it's 15 days. Ugh. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear <laughs> intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. 
Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. Uh, what are distinctive human features? His boobs? <laughs> like, okay, uh, yeah. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. <laughs> Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. <laughs> I love how the game's like basically... I mean, there's like almost no doubt in my mind he's a traitor. And he, he probably is going to actually be a good guy and watch Shen actually turn out to be a traitor. Um, Alright, let's make contact. Sweet, new facility. Yay. So, with that, now we can build uh, new things. We can actually upgrade it. What does upgrading do? Upgrade power conduit. Add an additional workstation. For an additional engineer. Oh, I got you. Because we can actually, what? We can put an engineer in here to increase Avenger power. That's good to know. Uh, unfortunately, if we do that, though, that, like, basically permanently gets rid of that engineer if we go over the power. Um, so we're clearing alien debris. I think we're going to go ahead and clear more alien debris. Or do we want to... Let's actually, let's speed this up. Let's go ahead and increase project speed. Kristen, this will go down to, like, three days now. Four days. Ugh. Okay. That's fine. Uh, actually, before, before we advance, let's go ahead and build some items. Weaponry, shard gun, instant build. What is this? Oh my god, these are expensive. Oh, that's crap. <laughs> 125. We can afford one of these. We could get a couple pistols. Let's see, 75 plus 60 is 130. So we could get a shard gun and a mag pistol. And this shard gun then will go... Yeah, we need to get rifles, but the pistol would be good because we got the free shot on our sniper. And she's healed already, so I think that's what we're going to do. Let's get the shard gun, and let's get the mag pistol. Oh, so I guess you only have to buy one and it goes across? Okay. Um, armory? Dad sacrificed the only thing he had left Soldiers? to get this ship off the ground. And I won't let it be for nothing. She might be a little worse for wear right now, but with some new schematics and a little elbow grease... She'll be the toughest thing in the sky. Oh, sweet. So the shard gun does 6 to 8 versus 4 to 6. That is nice. Magnetized weapon technology makes for especially effective improvement. Shotgun style weapons, close range, use upgrades. Awesome. So it's got a shard gun and actually has a weapon? Equip modification already? Really? Weapon upgrades. Oh, so it carries over. That is cool. Can you actually get rid of this, though? What's the hair trigger? When firing the soldier, it's 10% chance the shot will not cost an action. Eh. We might want to save that for a sniper, though. And laser sight. Increase 5. Can we put another laser sight? We cannot. We can put a hair trigger. That's kind of cool that it transfers over. Um, good to know. And... Da, ba, ba, we want... So, is that everyone? Then who's my other one? It's Ranger and... Bezer, uh, Bezerides. Let's see. What do you got? You're using the shard gun, too. And I'm assuming it carried over as well. Weapon upgrades, it carried over as well. That's cool. I really, really like that. That's that's awesome. I was actually seeing the thing is I actually didn't put a couple uh, uh, mods on a couple of the people because I was like I don't want to lose them. But it's cool that it carries over. So we want to go with our sniper now. Sharpshooter, Sarah. Uh, loot out. Boom. Mag pistol. Can we upgrade it? No. I wonder if you can. Weapon upgrades. Can you upgrade the pistol? You cannot. Okay. Good to know. All right, advanced time. Let's keep making contact. I'm sure we're gonna get a mission here in like any second. If we don't get a mission, you grill the targets. Okay. Commander, with the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. All right. So, uh, this one is destroy the alien relay. It's moderate difficulty. Corporal Bridget uh, Harrington Sharpshooter. It will be our reward. And this one increases all intel by 10%. Western. Uh, recover item. This one's easy. What was this one? This is moderate. Okay. Easy. Dr. Kayla Durham, a scientist. Rapid response. Guarantee reinforcements on all guerrilla ops. Um, I think we're actually going to... Man. 
I kind of want this one, to be honest, but I don't want the sharpshooter. I want the scientist. I have to be honest. We need to speed up some research right now. And I think that's more important. We got some pretty good people going. Also, this is an easy mission, so we can maybe take a B-Squad with us. Uh, so, I guess let's go ahead and confirm this. Yeah, I just... Man, I wish these were different. Whatever. We'll confirm. Maybe we'll get a chance to actually uh, swap... Uh, or, or, or fix that, because I think there's still three dark events going on. Uh, okay, so who do we want to take with us? I do want to take the shard gun, I want to take our new weaponry with it, and I do want to take that. Um, so we're going to take uh, definitely Connor, and we're going to take Ripley with us. I think the main reason for this is because, also I want to get them higher, because if either of them level up, because they're both lieutenants, and same thing, we might as well take Clegan. Well, if any of them level up, then we're in a really good position to... Um, 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 get uh, six members of our squad. So we're gonna, I guess, remove you. And here's the question. John McClane's actually, oh, he's wounded still. Okay. Let's put Ray up here. Now let's make utility items available. Uh, accept. And let's go ahead and change you and give you a weapon upgrade? What do we got? Hair trigger, laser sight. 5% chance for crit. See, I think crit will be better on a heavy or a sniper. Hair trigger, 10% to not cost an action. I think we're going to save that one. Man, we might as well do this one. Yeah, I guess so. There's no reason to hold on to it. Uh, and loadout. We want to give you health back. Oh, let's put John Wick on this mission, too. What's John Wick? He's a sniper, right? No, he's a specialist. So maybe we should take John Wick instead of Corporal Skywalker. I need to get her level, though. Arr. So we could bring Katniss on it. I, th I think we're going to take this team. Uh, so let's see. We got four. We got the, the stunner if we need it. We got the scanner. Hmm. Here's an interesting thought, though. We only technically have three grenades because our extra grenade comes from... But he can shred and stuff, so... Alright, I think we'll be okay with only three grenades. Because McLean's injured, and McLean actually has... He can carry three grenades by himself, so... <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Yay. Alright, hopefully we don't regret this. It's an easy mission, so I imagine that means three waves. We've got an opportunity here to seize material critical to the alien project we picked up on. And it's the only way we're going to slow them down. Move in and secure the area. Eliminate all hostile contacts and recover the assets. Awesome. I wonder, I'm assuming there's going to be a time limit on it. Recovery sample. So uh, we're probably going to have like, well, it's a recover an item. Maybe. If it's like hacking into the network, usually it's like 12 turns or whatnot. But this is a recover an item, so maybe not. Let's see. Hopefully we can start concealed. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the oh. target. Okay. Move to disarm <laughs> and extract the package before its uh. contents are destroyed. Alrighty then. Okay, so who do we got? Time Lord? I think we're going to go ahead and move you up probably pretty far here. It, man, can we get all the way up here? That's going to actually break concealment. Oh, because it's trying to go inside. We want to go... Whatever. Let's just take you... Actually, let's put someone here. Heavy? Who wants... Who do we want in the back? Sure, Heavy. Maybe not. No vision. Oh, that's scary right there. I hate how people, like, sometimes randomly appear. Uh, sensor tower is right there. Okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I guess we'll run you all the way over here. Running out. And then next turn, we can actually hack the sensor tower. And she might be able to get something out of it? Ooh, there is an overpass here. Okay, that's going to be an interesting thing. Overpass means we can potentially hop up Watch on that. the overpass and shoot down from up top. Uh, I guess let's move you here. Let's stay a little spread out. 
And who's our last one? Oh, our last one is... Yeah. Oh, I really want to go right here. <laughs> or right here. But I can't, unfortunately, do either. Um, We got to put her in cover. Yeah. I have to put her in cover. Because if the enemies walk towards me, we need to be in cover. That was a quick turn. Interesting. Are there no enemies on this map yet? Position confirmed. Okay. This is a little strange, guys. Man, I want to move her twice. I think we're going to risk it, because there... Where would there be a bad guy? Actually, you know what we should do? Let's throw a battle scanner. Let's come right here. Rolling. This is a safe move. And we're going to toss one of our battle scanners as far forward as we can get it. And this should give us a good idea whether or not there's enemies over here. There's a couple guys. That was a really bad scan, by the way. <laughs> there's a couple of guys in that area. Um, no one too terribly uh, important. Uh, okay, can we hack you? We can. Let's go ahead and see what we can get from this hack. System infiltration in progress. A 50-50, I don't know we want to risk, unless the negative is not bad. If it's something like an 85, I think we're going to take it. 51%, the enemy will be alerted. Okay. Uh, soldier gains immunity from the next attack in two turns. Wow, gain control of a random enemy for two turns. Oof. I wonder, we're going to cancel. We might try this after combat starts. I don't know if that's a possibility. If it is... And that's the negative. I'm, sh I'm assuming that the negative would have to be amped up a little bit. I imagine that it's not going to have the same exact negative at that point. Um, mostly because... Oh, crap. <laughs> like, that doesn't even do anything at that point. If the worst negative is uh, that we're revealed. It might actually even be worth it if it's an extra wave, honestly. Uh, okay, let us move... We want to move you. We want to move uh, Ripley as far forward move, as move, possible. Move. Still, no vision. Okay, then. We know there's nothing right there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move you right here. I'm thinking we're going to put Kleegan up high with our sniper. And let's put you right here. Will do. This is a very, very easy thing so far. <laughs> Can we throw something up here just to make sure? Oi. I'm trusting you here. I'm 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 praying right here. There's a bird. Oh my shit. Well, that didn't work out. Okay. What can we actually do? We might actually be able to kill both these guys very easily. Um, but first, let's check Ray. I want to see if the hack still is the same. Because if we can possibly hack right now and get the exact same 4951 and we get revealed, big freaking deal. The only thing is my uh, Ripley wouldn't be, you know, whatever. A failed hack result in any by enemy group being alerted to your position. That seems totally fine. Immunity from the next two attacks. Fuck it, let's go. We're not gonna make it. Alright! A failed hack. Any enemies nearby? Uh, I think they're already alerted, so... Was that half your turn? That was half your turn. Okay. Ripley. Alright, what do you look like right now? 68, 47. Can we get a grenade up there by chance? We can. We can totally get a grenade up here and blow this guy up. Throwing grenade. 
Here's what we're thinking. If I can kill the snake, I can destroy his cover. And then I can shoot him right now with Gregor and kill him. I can get Ripley up there to shotgun the other guy. No problem. 81%. Please don't miss. Well, that makes things a little problematic. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. No squad sight, no nothing. I'm trusting you here. We actually are blocked, too. Yeah, I know I'm revealed. 100%. Oh, she's actually in half cover. Okay. All right, this isn't going to be the worst thing in the world. <sighs> Ray, I need aid protocol on the mountain. Because he's completely out right now. And the soldier actually might run away. I'm going to be honest. He might actually try running away because he's by himself. If he does take a shot, well, that's going to hurt a little bit. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, we're gonna run our sniper all the way up here, cause I need her. I need to get her up top. I need to be able to snipe. Let's see what he does. He's gonna take a shot, and he misses. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, awesome. Now the car is gonna blow up, and pray to God that car is not close enough to actually hurt. It just blew up his cover. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's just some days where it's not your day. And this is very much not this Advent Soldier's day. Wow. Sorry, man. Really. I kind of apologize. This just sucked for you. What's over there? Illyrium Core and Alien Data Cache. Okay. It's no explosive or anything, right? Um, now, I think you didn't actually level Ripley, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get the kill with you right now. I love how she's all nervous. I think it's because she's gotten shot so many times, but. Nice. That was just, man, 11 freaking damage. Oh, I love that gun. I, I, definitely got that one. I gotta change it. If she's nervous, I don't know. I gotta see if I can change her personality. Yeah, I guess it, it yeah, it kind of fits because her being chased by aliens all the all time. Right. <sighs> okay. So, we're in completely okay position. Life's going good right now. Can we hack again by chance, I wonder? Heading there now. Unfortunately, Ripley's up top and she needs to come down at some point, but that's fine. We're going to keep you right here. Um, let's go ahead and overwatch you just in case. We're going to overwatch you most definitely. Uh, we cannot hack. I don't really want to go too far forward. I'm thinking we might actually just put her right here. Not because we're going to take her up or down, but just so she's in full cover. All right. Let's get some spotting. I don't... Th yeah. Nah. Let's put you right here you so you have cover from two directions. I've got eyes on an advent position. They're, they're in a bad spot. Good point. Good to remember. I have a 61%. That's it, actually. Uh, what about shooting a grenade down here? Doopy 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 doo. Can I blow up this car, I wonder? I, I don't know. I can't tell. What about... Um, you put yourself in a really stupid position. Uh, for the record. Doopy doopy doo. I think this actually blows up the vehicle. It says three to four damage. That's actually going to put the vehicle on fire, so we don't want to actually do that. Uh, let's see if we can kill this guy really quickly. I think this is going to be our best spot right here. Let's do this. We're going to get the free shot. No, we don't get any shot. 
Okay, then. I wonder why we can't see him. I think it's because that's in the way. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, well, let's just hold you here. Ray, what can you do? You can't do anything. We can come here and we can pretty much guarantee... We can kill the, the commander, no problem. Problem is, I don't want to kill the commander. It's a 49%. Alright, Mountain. I don't know what this is going to do, I'm going to be honest. It lit the car on fire. So the car is going to explode next turn. We can run up here, which puts us in a very flanked position. So, probably don't want to do that. Um, I wonder if you go here if you actually have a shot. We could aid protocol someone. Moving to position. We don't have a sh Oh, we do have a shot. 38%. 49%. You know, we do get the... We can shock him. We can actually run here, too. We can actually skulljack him, potentially. That's a 70% chance to skulljack. We do want to do that, no, though, now that I think about it. Because if we skulljack him... Yeah, let's not do that. Because if we skulljack him, we're in trouble. How the fuck can you not see? Alright, fuck this. <laughs> let's run and gun. This is such a waste. To fire, Ugh. I swear I'm to God, you, you better be able to freaking see this guy right here. 80% chance for the kill. There you go. Hopefully the car <laughs> doesn't explode and hurt me on top. Dead. It has to be dead. He's dead. Calm down, ammo. Ripley. Uh, so, unfortunately we don't have suppression. Because suppression is going to be McLean. So we have two options right here. Can he get around to flank me? He can't. So then who are you going to shoot at? Both those guys are at half cover. But he's going to have to retreat for that. So maybe you just want to do the shock damage? I think we're going to aid protocol. I think we're going to aid protocol Leonidas. Because he's the one that's most obviously probably going to get attacked. I wish he marked one because then I would know who he's going for. But this will be okay. And we're going to overwatch you. So if you move, he should get a... I should basically... Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That sucks. He's about to get hurt. Pretty bad. Man, Ripley just got back too. Healed. Menace one five. The clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I may have just forgotten about it till just a second, but thank you. <laughs> I know. Ah, oh, that sucks that she shot Ripley. Hopefully her will is not going to be shit again. Uh, seven. Skulljack. Skulljack. Jack deployed. Nice. So 100% network access. access. to the Advent Psionic Network. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. So apparently I should put this on a specialist so they can actually have a better hacking chance. Oh well. Um, so we're getting access no matter what. We're going to go for the 6% chance because... Oh snap, we almost got it too. Unrestricted access. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. Awesome. Was that your whole turn then? Uh, what? What Commander, the fuck? That appears to be the codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll uh, what? If we intend to recover the data, understood. Weapons what? Got our target. Oh, 
You didn't explain to me that I was gonna have to fucking shoot some people. Oh my god, shit! Alright, so we have four guys. We're gonna have to kill this guy no matter what. I, I don't I don't even want to think about what he does. Shit. Alright, we should be able to get him. Mountain. We got two pistols and a mountain. Can either of you guys get close enough to actually... Ah! We can do three damage here with the grenade. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this will not blow up their cover, but I need to guarantee three damage. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're doing this for the guaranteed three damage, because we need to do as much damage as possible. And I don't know that we can do damage with this shooting. He's, she's in full cover, so. So she's got, what, three, six, nine more HP. So two pistol shots. Oh, we do have the glo- Uh, what? I have never seen what? Like this. The Codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. Uh, okay, so they're both now at half health. They're at eight, and this one has nine. Shit. I can get, I can get Ray up. Oh my god, this is terrible. I can get Ray up here? But I don't know Ray can actually get the kill. Okay, well, let's get this one dead. We're gonna come down here. Two pistol shots, he's guaranteed dead. The unfortunate part is, man, this pistol might actually just kill you outright. The clones are probably a really bad thing. Uh, Alright, get fucked. Three to four damage. That's a cool gun. Unfortunately, it didn't kill him. Are you cloning again? How do you clone? You only have one HP! I'm calling bullshit on that. Let's move already. Um, okay. Yeah, this is this is going exceedingly terrible. I'm trusting you here. Ninety two, please get the kill. Oh, the kill. Oh, <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. So this is all up to Ren. I'm pretty sure Ren's not going to be able to get this kill. Oh, we got guaranteed damage with Ren! Oh my god! Confirmed. And by Ren, I mean Ray. I don't have vision! No! Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. Do your worst, bitch. The Codex appears to be in a state of flux. Existing simultaneously across multiple dimensions. Okay. Disabling my weapon's not terrible. Uh, we have a guaranteed damage. So you're gonna die no matter what. Oh, it basically makes me reload. Okay, whatever. Uh, we also want to run away because I'm a little scared. No. We want we want to go here. What's over there? Advent troops here. Fuck. Objective sighted. Menace one five, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Do we reload or do we? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do now. Uh, snake. Where's the snake? The snake's over there. We might actually be able to get a flank on the snake. Here's the question Can Ray actually do this remotely? Heading out. 
If Ray can do this remotely, then we're good. No. Or do we want a combat protocol? Oh, it's a stun lancer too. Shit. 84%? Fuck that. We're doing a 100% guaranteed. Oh, that sucks. Because if it wasn't for that, man, we'd have full ammo right now. If I could have gotten in view last time. Kodak's brain dropped. Excellent work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. Um, okay, I think we're gonna pistol overwatch you. I guess. I'm on it! Ah, oh, fuck. This isn't even cover anymore because I blew it up. <laughs> This is only half cover now, too. How did that happen? Ah! Yeah, we should have moved her forward. Alright, sorry guys, I'm being really quiet. This is an uh, interesting dilemma once again. Uh, I think I'm going to... There's no way I can kill the snake with him. Whatsoever. So let's go ahead and put you in half cover. And we're gonna overwatch. If the snake moves in closer, we're gonna have to pray. Oh, we could. Oh, we could flashbang them both. I still have the flashbang. All right. Thank God. Okay, I'll go. I also have a flanking shot too. Ninety-two percent with only forty-seven percent crit. The he lives if I don't crit. So I, I think we gotta flash them both. Where was it? Right there. Boom. And this is going to mean that they're going to miss me the next turn. Most likely, they're not going to be able to hit me. So, we're going to feel better about life. Alright, I think we still have Ripley to move. So, I think Ripley we're going to put right next to the objective. Yeah. So, next turn she can do the objective. She's got her sword. So, we got to remember that. Worst case scenario, she can pop out her sword and do some damage. The hell. So Alright! Noted! Fuck! I was worried about that. I legitly was kind of worried about that. They're all over me. That's okay. He's, we still have a flanking shot. We definitely have a flanking shot on you. Um, okay, first things first. Shut up, I know. <laughs> uh. Crap, that was so freaking terrible. I thought I thought I saw a full cover. I could have sworn I just landed on a full cover here. Can I get up here in one turn? Well, we can get up here in one turn. That's not a flank shot, though. There it is. Finally. We're gonna heal her, guys. Don't worry. Um, but we want to take the flanking shot. Brick. The only reason I did this is because I was fairly certain. It's still moving. Okay. Thank you. Heading there now. She doesn't have ranged heal. I'm an idiot. She doesn't have ranged heal. We just put our, our unit that has 1 HP in freaking enemy range because I'm an idiot. Ugh. I don't want to talk about this. Uh, no. I want, I want you to... Yes. Okay, thank God. Alright. Will this count as half cover? It does count as half cover. What do you got, Mountain? 72%. 54. Fuck it. I'm all out.
Who's left? I'll try to hack it. This is this is getting harder right now. Um, okay. Disarm the device. Ten percent alien alloys. Okay, whatever. Please tell me that wasn't like half your move. Where to? That was half her move. One five. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Well, this sucks. This is this is gonna be really bad, guys. There's really nothing I can do. Rolling. <sighs> We take our 65 for the kill. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the only thing we're hoping for is the snake does not tail whip Connor. Because I think that's a guaranteed kill. And I don't know why he wouldn't. Please, please, please do something different. Oh, I'm okay with this. Thank you. That That is totally... I am totally okay with that. Woo! I mean, we're not in a great position, don't get me wrong. We're going to only have 3 HP ourselves in there. But in the scheme of things, this is way better than what it could be. Do you have a free shot now? you got one more freaking turn left. Can we get enough people in there to kill him? All right. Ray, fucking get, like, right there. I'm on the move. And shoot his ass. 90 freaking percent. 54 percent crit. Thank you. Does he drop me? And he does drop me. So can I shotgun him in the face right now? You know what? You know what? What is what does my sword do? 96%? Eh, ah, fuck that. Shotgun you in the face, bitch. Ugh. So she's gonna be out for a while again. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down in the area. That was easy. That is confirmed. Oh, okay. I guess that was easy. What made it difficult was the fact that I screwed myself over by apparently hacking the... Oh, whatever. I didn't realize I was going to spawn an enemy that could clone itself 15 freaking times. And we would have been totally okay if we could have gotten close enough to use our automatic kit. But we got everything done. Ripley pretty much did everything. <laughs> Uh, she took a little damage. That's okay. So she's going to be out for a little while. Probably, I bet she's going to be gravely wounded. I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah, we took a lot of damage too on her. I bet they're both going to be gravely wounded. Well, good thing we have a new sniper now. Hopefully one of them leveled at least, I hope. So we can take six guys with us now, please. That would be a... Good job. Frick, neither of them leveled. Ugh, gravely wounded and gravely wounded. That was worst case scenario. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, I guess worst case would be they died, but. So we have Haywire on the other one. I just don't see Disorian stunned, panicked, or unconscious. Unconscious would be nice. Stunned would be nice as well. It's just you should really be revival. I think, yeah, we're going to go haywire with you too. And this is my thinking. John Wick's a specialist. We're going to go straight down the medical tree with him. So, uh, yeah. Also, when things are about to explode, walk away. Please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task. Yeah. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. Thanks, Sagan, for giving me the heads up. So, Codex Brain leaves only small nearly features brain when it expires, which has proven remarkably resistant to biological or mechanical scans. Sweet. We got another scope, we got more Illyrium, and we got Data Cache. Sweet. We got a Viper, Advent, Stun Lancer, and Officer. Okay. I wonder if you can sell them. Having discovered an alien data cache, storing valuable in enemy intelligence, I can dedicate my team's resources, decrypting the files, and ensuring we recover the large amount of intel. Hello, awesome. Commander. We got another scientist. Sweet. Your team did Admiral. The loss of material will no doubt be a blow to Alien's development current project. Awesome. 
we got a new scientist. Research speed increased by 20. Awesome! So the autopsy is down to 1. Alright, well, I think we're going to call an episode there. How long are they out for? doop a doop -a doo Soldiers. Gravely wounded. 15 freaking days. 23 days for Sarah Connors. Oi. John McClane apparently is going to be back ASAP. Is there any way I can speed that up? I mean, I guess I can go scan in home for, I think it's 50%. Oh, that's terrible. Well, good thing we have Katniss here because we're in need of more snipers. Oi. And these are all my high levels too. So, Matoko, you're going to have to freaking level up. Or, um... Yeah, it's Matoko or the mountain. Or I guess Pajama Kama would be back for the next mission. We need a freaking one more level so we can get six guys on the mission. Ah, so close. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to call it uh, for now. And uh, if you guys liked it, go ahead and subscribe. And, you know, I can't even say this is the worst intro ever. Whatever. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Well, let's Bye. Going on. We've never really had time to consider the possibility, but... I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. <laughs> she wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. I hope Valen is like totally an alien. That would be great.